Hey, what is going on everybody? Well, we are back for another video today and today is not going to be fish related. We are going to be talking about hamsters. In fact, we're going to be talking specifically about Carl the hamster who is a robo hamster and in case you did not know, robo hamsters actually come from parts of Mongolia and China where it is just desolate deserts. So why not give them a natural habitat while still caring for them the way you should? Well, in case you don't remember, here's Carl's Corner and in fact when we built Carl's Corner out of the Ikea Detop bookshelf or glass shelf. And I learned all about this from Victoria Rachel and other YouTubers who take care of small hamsters. So I went ahead and built this enclosure and I built it out the way that I did. However, today we're going to give Carl a little more of a natural enclosure and changing this up significantly. You don't want to miss this so stay tuned and make sure you like this video and subscribe if you are new. I really, really appreciate it and I am truly grateful for each and every one of you so make sure you subscribe before you go now let's get into this video today all right guys well we're gonna head out now and we're gonna go pick up some sand from Home Depot as well as a couple of other items that we need for this enclosure All right, guys, well, we made it back with everything we need, which is basically some play sand as well as some new bedding for this enclosure. So what we're going to start by doing is we need to clean this thing out. Then we need to catch Carl, put him in a safe place while we continue to clean it out, and we'll get this thing scaped. Yes, I said scape. Not sure in the hamster world if that's what you would call it, but we're scaping it. So let's get into this. All right, well, we're going to start by getting all of the different little pieces out of here, and we need to clean these. All right, well, we got all the toys out now we need to start getting the tunnel system out and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bag up some of this substrate yes substrate I know people are gonna make fun of me for calling it substrate because it's a hamster enclosure but we're gonna bag up some of this stuff and then what we will do when we rescape this we want to make sure Carl still has his scent that he has left in all this substrate so we'll take about a bag of this substrate and reuse this Carl's corner is just a blank slate now. Let's get this thing to start scaping. So if we look at this, we have one, two, three, four sections. So we're gonna put our sand in half of the enclosure and then we are going to do bedding on the other half. We're gonna put the tunneling system on this half where it was before. However, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use sand to cover it up. All right guys, well what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by separating this. So in order to separate this, and I'm really sorry about the lighting in my house, it is so terrible. I mean, even though the window's open, it's still terrible in here. If you saw my last video, which I will link that above in a card, but I made this little barrier that allows us to slip this right down in between the glass over top of this railing system that you have right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put this on this side right here, square in the middle, and we are gonna turn this into this massive sand play area for Carl and the reason is is because well Carl is a desert dwelling hamster and he liked the soft bedding and we're still gonna use some soft bedding but he should have some sand to really get into and mess with so that's what we're gonna start with so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start by laying down a very heavy layer of Aspen shavings in the bottom of the sand portion. This is nothing more than to allow me to build up the tunnel system where I need to. And we're gonna start placing the tunnel system back in here. There's no method to the madness to put the tunnel system in. So the reason I do it this way is this gives Carl a nice little place to hide right back here. This also gives me a viewing spot down into the tunnel from this point and an exit point over here. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna stuff some bedding down in there just so he has something soft in this tunnel. So I'm gonna come back in here with the bedding that was his before and I'm gonna put this actually in the tunnel system and that's just so he knows that this is his spot that it's not some new area so he'll be able to tell that this is his so we're gonna add this in all sections of this not overly thick it'll just be a thin layer in there so let's go ahead and grab a bag of sand and start putting this stuff in so here is the first part I need one more bag of sand we're gonna go grab that right now Carl now has 
has a sand play area. Now, he has a tunnel system over here, which will be fine. And you can see that that kind of filled up there, which is okay. He has plenty of room in that tubing system. There's not too much sand in there. Everything will be good. Now, what we're gonna do is kind of get some of these pieces back in here that he liked to play with. So let's go ahead and start with that. All right, well, with the sand section all set up, we now need to work on the bedding section. So as I said before, we're gonna use some of Carl's old bedding and we'll dump some of this out just a little bit on the bottom. But what we wanna do is really get some new bedding in here as well. Okay, we have a nice layer of bedding over here, so we're gonna have to actually relocate the water bottle, which is fine. We have everything kind of smoothed out. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna give Carl his bridge back to his other area. So we have that there. That'll take him up into the sand. Gonna dump some of Carl's other old bedding back in here as well. So that's gonna go up on top here and just kind of mix up with this new stuff so it's not such a shock for him. We are gonna relocate Carl's wheel right here, giving him a nice little place to run. The skate is coming together. Let's get this completed and get Carl into his new home. All right, guys, well, if you look here, I have these little things of Timothy hay sticking up out of here. And the reason is, is because when I was researching the area that this particular type of hamster comes from, this is exactly what the desert looks like. It's a desolate desert with just kind of half dead things sticking out of the ground like this. So that's why I went with that. I know it's not crazy, but yeah, I mean, it's, maybe it'll make him feel like home. We're gonna move back over here to the bedding side. I added some Timothy hay just in here. They will eat Timothy hay, uh, you know, and it's just, it, it was something that was in the last enclosure. So I wanna make sure that I keep it somewhat the same. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Timothy hay mat back in here as well. I don't know exactly how much he used it or ate it, but it was always here in case he wanted it. So in case he wants to use it, it's there. He's got the little tunnel in case, you know, that kind of thing. Let's add his little balls back in here, just like that. This little bridge back up in here too, which will get him up into his hammock if he ever decides to use it. And that, my friends, pretty much completes the scape of Carl's new enclosure, which I personally think that uh, maybe he'll enjoy this a lot better. So it's basically half bedding with some Timothy hay and just regular soft paper bedding. He's got a nice little cave in there that he can go in right there, his balls to play with. He has his wheel that he absolutely loves. Little bridge that takes him from his bedding area up into the sand area. Can't wait to see his little paw prints up in the sand that's gonna be neat got his little pieces of timothy hay all up in here his little bridge up into his hammock if he decides to use that so yeah everything is looking fantastic we had little Carl sitting in a hamster ball for a moment, and this hamster ball is well big enough for him. Just, he doesn't ever get in this thing. He's always inside of the enclosure, but we went ahead and put him in here temporarily. So we're gonna let Carl go, and let's see what Carl thinks about his new enclosure. Look at that, Carl. Oh, he's up in his little cave there. There he comes. Hey, Carl. All right, well, Carl is up on top of his little boat. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Look at him. Well, there's little Carl, and he is loving life in his new enclosure. So hopefully you guys like this, and, you know, hopefully Carl likes it. Being a sand hamster and a desert-dwelling hamster, he now has the best of both worlds. Oh, he's going to find his tunnel. Go in your tunnel, buddy. Come on. He's just exploring and looking around, and he'll figure it out. But look at him. He's so cute. But like I said, he has the best of both worlds, so hopefully he enjoys his new home. He's up on his little ladder. Hey, buddy. You're all, all kinds of places just exploring. All right, buddy. Well, enjoy your new home, and we'll see you in a little bit, okay? All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I definitely think Carl is going to be much happier in his new enclosure with all of the sand and everything else. We're going to look for some other pieces to go in this enclosure that kind of go with this desert theme, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Now, I will tell you, by no means am I a hamster expert, so if you have any recommendations on anything we can do differently to make this enclosure better for Carl, make sure you comment that below, make sure you subscribe, and make sure that you like this video. Well, with all of that being said, I think little Max Robert here has something to say. If you haven't subscribed to the channel or followed us on Instagram, do that now. So, like little Max Roberts said, if you have not followed us on Instagram or you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that now. We will see you next time. Yeah.